Christmas with Chris. He's on the other side of the building over there. Um, 1880s home. It's been pretty slow. Got a bunch of wheat, some early ones. Finally got an Indian head signal here. Put the plug in. The, there was roundness. I'm hoping it's an Indian head. It is. Let's see if I can get you. Nice greeny. Looks like a. Hold on, guys. Nineteen oh five. So. As Kurt would say, it's just a baby. Just a wee baby. So I'll take it though. Hey, it's an Indian. It's awesome. I'll take those all day. Check this. I don't think there's anything else. Cool. Check this out. Literally this deep. I'm thinking I'm digging a Zinkin. Look at this. It's an extremely white 1864 Indian head penny. Not even half an inch deep. I thought I was digging a zinc in. So, awesome. So, cool relic moment. <clears throat> All the way down here. No lie. Up to my shoulder. I was digging carefully because I didn't know what it was going to be. It wasn't a belt plate like I was hoping. Or buckle. But, to get a cool uh, axe head. thing is heavy. That's a big one. Cool. Okay, part of the road noise right next to the road. Um, just pulled a weedy out of this hole, checked it again. Got another signal, thought I was gonna get another weedy. But I've got silver. I'm guessing a Merc. Yep, 43. Or 42, I'm sorry. Let's see. Here comes Chris, I can hear him creeping from behind. And it's 42 plane. Mark. Cool. What's going on guys? This will be added to my another medley video I'll have of just multiple digs. I've been to this home before. Um, gotten some flat buttons and stuff. Haven't been here in forever. And check it out, gotta, oh, gotta get in my shadow. But, got a plug dug here, got a nickel. Um, 47. I re-check the uh, plug, check it out, piece of silver, looks like a Merc Dime. Yeah, it's a Merc Dime. 1943, shining in the sun. Oh, there's a mint mark, 43D, cool. I'll take it, piece of silver today. Let's turn you all back check it out, guys. anything else. This plug that I just dug for that um, dime's right here. And right up here, I got another signal. 46. 42. Pardon the traffic right next to the road. So, yeah, good signal. Let's see if we can get this on a live dig. It's right there. My buddy, uh, that's from around here, hit this place before I did and got two coppers out of here. So, that might be silver, guys. We shall see. Will it be another Merc? Come on, show yourself. Goodness. Oh, there it is. Shine on through. It is a Merc. 
not as deep as I thought it was, but that's okay. Unless I was pushing it down with the pinpointer. I got 45. Forty-five plane. Cool. Two silvers in two minutes. That's awesome. Check the plug, the hole, nothing. Cool. Okay guys, on so to the next home. Check it out. It's been a little bit since I found something pretty cool. Pardon the traffic noise. That's an old pewter button. That's got some age on it. Holy moly. I was hoping I was gonna find something on the front. Can't really tell if there's anything. I don't think there is, but man, that's got some age. With a shank, too. That is awesome. I'll take those all day. Cool. Well, still at the house, of course. Traffic is right, that's how close that is. Um, I told you guys before that my buddy came here before me and found uh, two large scents here. And guess what? I think I might have a large scent myself. All I see is green roundness. Oh yeah, that's gotta be. Oh yeah, that's gotta be. Holy moly. Awesome. Yep, there's her bust. That's a largey baby. Awesome. Didn't think I'd get one of those here after my other buddy hit it. Cool. It's never hunted out, guys. I'll take it. Pick it out in another uh, part of the yard here. I went to the tree and back all the way down right here, and that's usually that's the hunted out part where multiple people have hunted. Uh, so I'm over here in the side part, and uh, I was cherry picking it. Now I'm going back over it again and digging signals. I skipped because I just was just seeing what else I can find real quick. I found this piece of relic. It's got some real cool fancy on it. I'm not sure what it'd go to. You know, part of me wants to say salt or pepper shaker, but man, those are some large holes. So I don't think so. I'm not sure though, it's really thin. Really fragile. Cool. And a flat button. Almost convexed a little bit. Pretty hey guys, cool. Well, this is uh, first time recording. We got Rusty. One PA, Adam, that's Audra's dad, we did that uh, uh, um, benefit for her to get her detector, we also got Adam the detector also, and right now you're here talking as the owner who gave us permission, um, we got Ron here, he's with Rusty from Pennsylvania, I just dug, I put the plug back, you can't see, but what I just dug there, for someone to put a house like that, this up in the 1930s, is a general service, looks like a general service eagle button, Civil War era, still with the shank, that's awesome, beautiful, but if you can tell, once it focuses back in, beautiful old home, Bill, Pat, and Sue um, are back in the back, and we're up front here, so, cool, that's an awesome find, hey Ron, Ron the man, what you got? Yeah, uh, I got a buffalo knuckle here. Nice. You get a date yet? Those yeah. things are hard to get dates, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, oh, we're on the buff side. Either way, it's a beautiful buffalo nickel. That's awesome. There's some date r ranging here. I mean, from looks like the 20s, all or you know, the Civil War, all the way to the 20s. So, the guy says that the original place is 18 uh, mid 1800s. So I don't know. He said this this, this foundation is triple. Uh, uh, brick, so, but yeah, we got cicadas falling all over us, too. They're everywhere. I'm Mr. Pat here, and Pat has got an awesome find. Check that beauty out. Wow. That is awesome, man, right here. Good job, buddy. Check it out, guys. You see shiny. Still at this house. First piece of shiny that I've seen dug out of here. It's just not too much on the coin side. A couple weeds here and there, but 39. 39 plane. I'll take her. Hey guys. Cool. Well, I am here with my buddy Tom. We got permission for a heck of a lot of area. This is a town here near me. Old town. Settled early 1800s. Just a little, you know, don't blink or you'll go right through it kind of towns. Um, well, hello, cat. 
and this guy here owns this house and I guess the cabin used to sit right in here and he owns all this land back here but anyways first good find been here about 15 20 minutes silver Roosevelt dime 1956 plane I'll take it cool hey guys been a while since I've gotten something we moved on to another spot here there's a house here with a giant front yard there's that busy road that's right out there um, I guess the house used to sit up there and they moved it back here by the foundation stones I'm guessing 30s um, but it could have been older though that might be add-on and this is the older part so but either way I've got a Roosevelt silver dime 57 nice D cool I'll take it I like to get on some older stuff but hey I'll take silver all day nothing else in there check this out guys there was a retrieve in this uh, wheat penny here still in front of this home there's Tom over there and so I got my first ever accidental find uh, not first ever accidental find but first ever die that's pretty cool I don't know how old it is I'm no die expert or dice expert, but that's pretty cool. We got Iron Man coming over here. Iron Man Tom. What you got? Oh, gotcha. A memorial. You're a penny richer, my friend. Yes, sir. Check it out, guys. That's silver number three. It's a mercury dime. See if I can get the date real quick. 45. 45 plain. Oh, you found how many of those? Well, that's the, the third silver today. today. Uh, yeah, the oldest silver today. I got older Wheaties, though. Good deal. Neat. You would have picked that up, too. See where the pr imprint is there? Yeah. It wasn't five inches down. Just gotta get your coil over it, buddy. Get your coil over it. That's three. Here I am, in front of this house. There's Iron Man Tom. And I just got one of my favorite relics, as you all know. Look at that. Yes. Oh, that is a beauty. Look at that thing. Freaking awesome. That thing's huge. Longer than my middle finger. Oh, cool. The wife loves these too. So, she'll be happy I got this. Awesome. Cool. Check it out. Another cool uh, relic. Spender clip. There's some wording on there. We'll focus up. No, nah, suspender clip. Suspender clip. Oh, it tried. It gets tougher in this light to try to get this focused up. What is it? Yeah, whatever. Suspender clip. Staple relic cool. number two, toe tap. That would come right after a uh, uh, suspender clip. That's cool. I'll take it. Iron Man Tom's got himself a relic. Oh, off. he just took out the iron uh, tongue. Yep, got himself a buckle. Got a little shoe buckle. Cool. Staple relic number three. Oil lamp part. There might be a uh, patent date on there. I don't know. Cool though. <laughs> no, I don't. Iron Man strikes again. Iron Man strikes again. Look at that. That's a nice buckle. Yeah. This not iron though. This time that's a nice brass buckle. That's a big one. I don't think I've ever found one like that. That's cool. And I just got a buffalo nickel. There's a loud truck. I got a year on it actually. I can get it to focus. 
There you go, 1921. Awesome. Well, guys, we're in the back about a foot and a half deep. Yeah, we gotta be in the backyard. So we're back here at the place. Yeah, we, I got that buffalo nickel. You got that nice uh, buckle. About a foot and a half deep. Got a nice uh, axe head. I'll take it. Look awesome. at this utensil I just got, guys. Got some really nice fancy on it. Camera decides to focus in like that. I think those are peppers. That's really pretty. It's just plated. Yeah. It says there on the back. Sterling Silver Plate. Sterling Silver Plate Company. So, Tom's digging the signal right now. Get it, Tom. Get it. Come back to you guys if we get anything else. Check this out, guys. Just got a war nickel. 1944 P. Cool. Haven't got one of these in a while. Check it out, guys. Got the, another one. Same kind of spoon. Those peppers and the vines. That's pretty cool. Second one. Oh, as you guys can see, you got a little bit of shiny. Check it out. Mercury Dime. 1944. Plain. That's awesome. I'll take it. Check this out, guys. I think I got a silver ring here. Looks like it's got some really pretty fancy on it, too. Wow, that's beautiful. It's all flowers. That is cool. I'll take it. Awesome. Nice Check it out, guys. I'm over here to the side of the home now. Just a little patch of grass here from the driveway to the house. And a couple feet behind me. I got a decent, you know, high tone, thinking maybe a weedy, it was, wasn't raining exactly silver coin. Check this out, I opened the plug and literally it's sitting like that. I don't know if it's plated. It's missing whether it was the bowl or the fork. Oh wow, there's, there's engravings on the back of that. Oh, hold on guys. I'm pretty sure that's sterling. Oh wow, there's even a date. Five ten twelve. It says J S Voss and Son. You guys see that date? That is awesome. There's some more written up here towards where the bowl or the Fork end would be Sterling. It's Sterling. Let's see if I can get this. This is gonna be tough. Yeah. Let me stick it right there. It's so shiny. There you can start seeing the ST. Awesome. And dated too. Holy moly. That is cool. Wow. Cool. Next to that sterling piece of silverware. It's not exactly amazing, but I thought it was cool the way it was situated. I flipped this up. This was right on top of it. It's two Wheaties. Oh, that one's grown some crust. You can see where they've sat on top of each other for that long. That's awesome. <laughs> cool. Hey guys, still at the side of the house. And 
Little piece of silver. Oh, it's just a rosy. But I'll take it. Silver is silver. What a great hunt. 46. Plain. Awesome. Check it out. It's back in front of the home. It's an Indian. It's the first one I've gotten here um, on this property. Actually, uh, Tom left early and he got one before he left. 1903, didn't get it on film. So he grabbed it through his pocket and hurried out. I was like, oh, I gotta get that on film and he already left. So I was like, crap. But yeah, he got a 1903, so his first Indian. So congratulations to him. Here's 1908. Awesome. Now there's a cool relic. I don't know if it's an earring, a necklace, or what. Looks Native American. That's really cool. Wow. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you live. VDI. And here comes the rain. You see it. Let's see what it is. Oh, give yeah. Me, give me Check a this out, guys. I think I know what this is, and I haven't got one forever. That's a quarter. I believe that is a barber quarter. A bug on me. Oh, mint mark. Wow. That's a beauty. Wow, 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 wow. Um, oh, man. I got barely any foo foo. Enough to get, to get her a little. A little wet. <sighs> yep. 1907. 1907-0. Awesome. That is killer. Y'all saw the signal. Oh, well, well. Cool. Check this out. All the way down here. It's a Merc. Bringing up more like a weedy. It's an early mark, 23. There she is. Hello, Miss Liberty. 23, and she's a plane. But she's still beautiful. I'll take her. Awesome.